Data of every description will pervade our consciousness. Holograms projected beneath our eyelids. Direct retinal stimulation. Welcome to the DCC Museum. Hi and welcome back at the museum. Today we're going to share a video with you about something we custom built and been working on for the past few months. It's a custom drawer in the 19 inch rack that we created with a 3D printed faceplate. Inside the drawer are some existing electronics and some new electronics that we added to the 19 inch rack of the museum. On this side we have the existing ITTS box, we've shown that in a video before. On the right hand side the new ITTS box made by Thomas Faulkner who donated one separate package so we could build in into this drawer. Then on the upper side we have something new. It's a digital switcher made by the company Inday in the United States. We have three daisy chained switchers which each have four toslinked and four coaxial inputs. They also have two outputs, again, one toslink, one coaxial, and you can daisy chain them, leading us to 21 DCC decks that we now custom connect to the amplifier, but also to the ITTS box. In the past, we've only had an analog switcher and very few devices hooked up digitally to the amplifier and to the ITTS part. This way, we now have one converter, the converter of the amplifier that we can use for digital input. And when we play a DCC deck, any DCC deck, the information is now displayed through the ITTS video box, old and new. You can switch the channel with a remote or manually. Switching the channel means you're switching the player. So parallel combination of the task link and the coaxial input. If the coaxial input is detected, that one will come first. And again, we have daisy chained three of them. One is on the right side of the rack, so we didn't have to pull a lot of cables to the left side. Then on the right top side, we have a new piece of electronics. It's developed by Ton Zambergen in the Netherlands. We've been working on that for quite a few years, and that's a digital bitrate and frequency meter. It'll show what's currently playing from the Technics RSDC8, the ITTS information, but on this display you can see that the Technic is currently outputting 44.1 kilohertz by 24 bit. That's already a number that was a huge surprise to us because we thought it was going to be 18 bits. In this case, the deck is outputting 24 bits. That doesn't mean that they're actually 24 bits because there is a 16 bit tape in there. All tips were recorded at 16 bit, at least commercially recorded at 16 bit, but it shows you what the converter can do. We will do a separate video just on this topic in the future when we have more references on what each player could output on 44.1 kilohertz, the bit rate, but this will give us a visually a reference on what each player actually is capable of. So we hope you enjoyed this update that we have been working hard on for the past few months. See you next time.